We continue our time with special prayer for thy kingdom come with our theme of better together. It would be a little bit strange if I continued on my own with the theme of better together. But things are definitely better together. So I've got some special helpers today, Theodore and Anastasia. One of the things that I treasure is this crucifix that Theodore's holding up that I got from Oberammerger. I went in 2010 with a group from Deaf Church to see the world famous Passion Play, which is normally held every 10 years as a thanksgiving to that little village in Bavaria, Germany, when they were saved from the plague. This year, it will be possible for them to perform the play again after having delayed for two years by COVID. Oberammerg is not only known for the play, but for the woodcarvers. And sometimes we can feel alone. Even Jesus felt alone on the cross when he cried out in his darkest hour, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? The cross shows God the Father supporting the weight of the cross under the dove as a symbol of the Holy Spirit. Jesus was not alone on the cross. The Trinity were all there, God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. As Jesus took the weight of the world's sins for us, he felt that separation from God, his Father. Of course, we know that Jesus' death was not the end, that he rose again, and we continue to celebrate the joy of Easter and the resurrection as we move to the joy of ascension and then to, uh, on to Pentecost. We're going to hear again the Great Commission, the last words in Matthew's Gospel, and Anastasia is going to read them for us. Now eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some about him. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and, and on earth has been given to me, so therefore I make and make disciples of all nations, baptising them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey, obey everything that I have commanded you, and remember I am with you, always to the end of the age. I find the words of Jesus such a comfort and reassurance. Sometimes we feel a bit lonely, but Jesus reassures us that we are never alone, because he is always with us. I am with you to the end of the age. Can you show this a picture? <laughs> My dear, At the end of the Passion Play, a Dober Amiga, the cast of about 2,000, walk across the stage, each with a light, symbolising the light of Christ's presence with us today and always. So we are never alone. Life is better because we are together. Let's end with a prayer. Heavenly Father, in this time of joy between Ascension and Pentecost, we thank you that we are never alone, because you are always with us. Help us to spread the good news of the Gospel in all that we do, in our words and our actions, so all will know how much they are loved and cared for. Give us courage and inspire us by the Holy Spirit to live the Gospel and show that we are better together. Amen. Amen.